Hello and welcome guys, my name is Thomas and today it's a very useful tutorial for all of us who use Cisco courseware or who basically own a Mac and take part in a Cisco certification process. So in order to pass, uh, pass this certification process, you need to understand on how a software called Packet Tracer works because this allows you to explore networks, um, understand networking situations and how packets travel through a network. And uh, well, there's information on how to get it running on Windows because it's a windows.exe. And there's information on how to get it running on Linux, but not so much uh, for the Mac. So we're going to change this right now. And the first thing that we're going to do is we download the Packet Tracer software. And if you can't find it in Cisco, I will provide a link down below or just ask your instructor on where it is. It's sometimes a bit hidden. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to download the Play on Mac software from playonmac.com. It's free and open source software. So for everyone who is concerned about stuff like this, no hassle, free and open source works. Great. So the next thing after you've installed this piece of software is you launch the Play on Mac software. This, there's also a Linux counterpart, which is called Play on Linux. And I guess if you've seen this video right now, you can also take the equivalent steps on Linux. Okay, so what we're going to do is we hit the tools menu and we say manage wine versions. Of course, I've already worked with Play on Mac, so I already have wine versions set up. But what's so cool about Play on Mac is that without any hassle and without any terminal commands or something like that, you can set up wine environment with different versions. Okay, so as of this recording, the newest version seems to be 1.7.35. And you can hit and download and install that. I've tested it with 1.7.22. So if you wanted, the, uh, wanted to uh, follow this tutorial closely, you can also get this version out of this list right here. There it is, somewhere in here. Okay, um, anyways, get a one version. I would recommend the newest one. And then follow it, follow this tutorial. Okay, so we click on configure after we set up our wine version and then we click on new next thing would be to click on next choose our wine version and give that thing a name so this is a virtual drive basically a, a wine instance and i'm going to name this package tracer just for the sakes of easiness and we'll wait a while and uh, after that it'll be created okay Next thing is we click on the packet tracer element right here and then we go into miscellaneous and say run an exe file in the virtual drive. We go to our downloads, run the Cisco packet tracer, follow the installation until it's complete and be good to go. Okay, there we go. We hit OK for this. And uh, well, now we can take launch Cisco Packet Tracer, which we want, and we because we want to try it out if it worked. Click finish. It'll come up with a message that it'll save uh, the settings on a certain path, which is okay by us. Click on okay, launch, and here we have it. So this is it. It works like it should. You can also maximize the window, of course. I have no idea if um, full screening works. And apparently it really does. Okay, so you can even use it in full screen for uh, multi-desktop uh, goodness. Okay, so of course you can add all your gear that you have. Don't forget to turn off your gear before you add a module to it. Then go ahead and turn, turn it back, off, uh, back on in order to boot it. And of course you can see that it works like you would expect it to. So that is all great. You all know Packet Tracer if you, watch, if you watch this video. If you need any explanation on how it works, go hit up your instructor. And there we go. So now if you've installed it with the option ticked for a desktop shortcut, you'll see on your desktop that you have a .lnk shortcut, which doesn't work on the Mac. But how do we get a Mac shortcut? Well, just hit the general tab and say make a new shortcut from this virtual drive. And then it's going to scan the virtual drive for any .exe files. And we'll go and choose the packet tracer 6.exe. And we'll just name that thing Cisco 
pack a tr tracer, like so, I guess. Next, or let me add just a version to it, 6.1.1, so I know what it is. Student Edition. Next, and it'll going to create a shortcut on your desktop without a proper logo. I think that's a problem of the software right here because LT Spice, which I've also installed in the same exact manner, has a logo attached to it and works. Now, of course, we can close out of here, hit yes on the warning, and we'll see on the desktop we have that shortcut right here. So now what you can do is you could hit, you could hit Command I and change this logo if you wanted to to something else of your liking, just copy an image and uh, select this and paste on here and, then, and the logo will change. But that's certainly optional. So what you will do is you will copy this uh, link onto your applications folder and there we go. So if we hit up Spotlight and we say Cisco, you'll see Cisco Packet Tracer in here and you'll launch it and it'll feel like a standard Windows or Mac application. It'll come up like you want it. You can open up your standard files. You can save them, send them to your instructor, whatever you want to do. It'll work from now. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you uh, learned something from this. See you in another video and goodbye.